Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Determinator Gaming. Today I've got a special treat for you. As you can see I'm playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and I'm here in Privy Slavitz, which is the uh, place where you do the From the Ashes DLC. If you haven't done it I strongly suggest checking it out. And this video is a quick uh, shortcut guide to some videos I've been producing recently. Uh, recently I produced 10 top 10, or not 10, but several top 10 videos, uh, each one focusing on a specific weapon type uh, for highest damage in the game. So essentially best of each, you know, kind of weapon in the game. And uh, those are extremely useful, and I suggest you check them out. But this guide will be a shortcut to that one. This one is basically just the best weapon of each class. So uh, I won't be doing anything long or detailed, won't be going over a lot of stuff. If you want to see these weapons in detail, go check out the individual guides. I will just be showing the top weapon for each one. So if you're looking for, if you're thinking to yourself, what's the best mace I can get? What's the best long sword, short sword, bow, hunting sword, whatever, you know? Axe. I forgot the last one. The last one is axe. Or even shield, because I'm going to include all of those in this guide. So sit back and enjoy. If you like this content, make sure you like it. And of course, if you like this game and like what I'm doing here, I think you should subscribe. So uh, that way you can stay up to date with everything we do here. Uh, and if you have any suggestions or if you have any disagreements or anything, uh, feel free to check out my other videos as I did go into more detail. But if you just want to, you can leave comments down below. Uh, so let's just jump right into it, and I'll show you the best one for each class. Alright, so this, this guide is actually going to work as sort of a two-tiered thing. Obviously, it's going to be showing the best of each class, and you can see them right there. I've got them all right there. So if that's all you wanted to watch, that's all you got to watch. But I'll, I'll go through them, and I'll, I'll, you know, go touch touch on them a little bit. So starting us off, we have the best bow in the game is the Sinew Bow. Obviously, as I said in my bow video, you can get this one in Privy Slavitz with the From the Ashes DLC. Uh, next down, I, I have them ranked in order of damage, by the way, so you can see which weapons are the best damage-wise. Uh, next down, we have the Stinger, which is the overall best melee weapon in the game as far as damage is concerned, with a stat of 79, which I believe is in Stab. It is indeed in Stab, so that's that's an amazing short sword. Uh, next, the best long sword as far as damage is concerned is the Herod Sword, which has a 75 in Slash. So the Stinger, Stab, this one, Slash, those are the two best swords in the game. Next we have the Bailiff's Mace, which you can actually get for free by playing the From the Ashes DLC. They'll give you one right at the beginning, so if you want the best mace in the game, make sure you play that DLC. Otherwise, it can be picked up at several stores. It's not hard to find. Uh, this one having a Blunt, I believe. Yeah, Blunt Damage of 61. Uh, the best Hunting Sword in the game, which I didn't make a video for because not many people like Hunting Swords, uh, including myself, is the Cleaver. While I don't really love the appearance of this one, having a flat top and everything, making it pretty bad for stabbing, as you can see with two there, this one does have a decent stat of 52 for Slash, so it's a pretty good slashing weapon. Uh, the best axe in the game, which is one of my personal favorite weapons in the game, is the Metal Plated Axe. This is one of the two variants. This one is the one without the top spike or the back spike, just the plain one blade. Uh, gotta love that weapon. And as a bonus here, we will include the best shield in the game, which is any variant of the Boosh shield. This one having 150 defense. Uh, while it is very heavy and, you know, all that sort of stuff takes five strength to use, it does have the best defense, so it's without a doubt the best shield in the game as far as stats are concerned. Well, that does it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. If not, I guess you should give that dislike button a view. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, go ahead and drop them down in the comments section below and I'll do my best to address them as soon as possible. If you like this content or this game, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on all the quality content that I release here. If you need any help navigating, I've got a helpful little link right here on the screen that'll help you subscribe to this channel and I've also got one that'll lead you to another one of my fantastic videos. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.